Hello guys, Suljin here and welcome back to another episode of how to decorate a British house that Corrales made. Last time we left off we were pretty much finished the bottom floor, so now on to the top floor. So we probably could do maybe a couple lighting sconces right here. Let's go ahead and take the sea lanterns again. And we'll do maybe the spruce stairs. And we'll make some lighting sconces out of this. And we'll do two of them. So, boom, boom, boom. And we'll do one more. How's that? Now, can I still walk up and down here? Nope. So this is going to just have to be... The lighting sconce actually sticks out a little too much. I might have to do just a corner lamp. We can always do... I'll tell you what. We already have anvils here, so we can't really do that. Let's do, let's do Corrales' style lamp in here. Let's take one of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these, uh, and one of those. Actually, <laughs> I might have to get that. What is it called then? Brewing stand. <laughs> Good to go. Okay, so we got that. All right, I think I got that. So we do bam, bam. we we'll do one on either side. Bam. Bam! I think that's pretty much it. That's how he's got it. <laughs> pretty cool. Okay. And he has another table right there, which we could do that in the corner, I believe. I think I'll want the same lamp right here in this corner. So we'll do just like that. And we won't be able to put the button on it because the ladder is occupying that space. So I think we're going to go without that. Yeah, that should be good right there. Uh, we could do a plant in that corner too. Let's take, this time we'll take jungle, and we'll take a cauldron. Cauldron, jungle plant, good. Okay, so in these rooms, what do we need? We need a little rug, something like that. We need to shape this up for sure. We could probably do, hmm, I'm thinking that we can probably put like, maybe some bookshelves right here. To kind of <laughs> to kind of cover that up so let's try a couple of bookshelves here there we go and we can do something like a little chest of drawers or something right here um, what would two other books look like it actually looks pretty good we can just set the books in the corner like that and I believe that's a pretty good setup um, we can't do that what about yeah we kind of have to have the whole thing set up or not at all right we could do a little carpet starting right there too, but I think the books in the corner are fine. It covers it up and it doesn't look too out of place. Let's do a little green carpet now. I already have a little bit of green here. And we can do maybe just something like that. And a little wardrobe wouldn't be bad. Or maybe just an armor stand would probably work. So let's do an armor stand. We'll put that right here. We'll take a tripwire hook. And we'll put it right next to it, kind of like a hat rack. And then on top, we'll put, um, let's do diamond. We'll do diamond pants and a diamond shirt. Just like that. There we go. And then on an item frame. And how about a diamond helmet? So if I put the item frame right here, and then I put the, the the helmet, well, you can't really see it, but maybe if I took away this, yeah, that's not bad. Actually, we can do the item frame just right here behind it, I think. Yeah, we can put it in the same square. There it is. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Shoot. How about this? How about let's make it a little bit more interesting here. Let's go with there. Cool. And now we can do bam, bam. Yeah, the item frame just doesn't do it right there. It's different in every resource pack, so I suppose that'll be good. In fact, I could just do it right here, and that's about the same thing. Uh, we can do a little shelf here, and that would probably work out pretty well. 
Let's do maybe spruce, since that seems to be the going theme in the house already. We can do just a small thing of spruce here. Probably, probably no bigger than this. And that looks like it would be good. And right on top, instead of, but we can't really do books anymore because we've already kind of done that. We can set a crafting table on top. And what else can we set up top? Is there anything that we can do? I, you know what? Let's put an enchanting table instead on one of these sec sections right there. That looks a little bit better, I think, than the just overdoing it with the books. And on top of here, we can just go with an item frame. And we'll go with a regular book. Item frame, book. We'll go with a regular miscellaneous book. Bam, bam. I like it. That's a good little bedroom. And on the other bedroom, we can probably do something a little bit similar. Let's take a look at it. This one looks like it's a little bit bigger and it also has a closet and a fireplace. So we can probably do maybe like a little wardrobe here. So let's take spruce. We'll take regular spruce. We'll take that. We'll also use those bookcases that we had earlier for another wall. And let's see. So in this wall, we don't have anything that leads to the outside just right here. So we can do like a small bookcase setup, probably right here. That kind of blocks the window. That's OK. It's supposed to look like, well, we can probably actually go one taller. Yeah, that would probably work out pretty well. I don't want to do the whole thing like that. Maybe if I did just like this. That would be a little bit better, I think. That's like a little nice area. Okay, so how about carpet right on top? And we can go with black. And that would put just like a little a little fitting onto it. Okay, and then in here we can go with black shelving. And actually what I'll do is give Barry a block to myself. There we go. We'll put barrier blocks down here instead. And then right on top, we'll go with the shelving. And now the barrier blocks don't show naturally. And that looks pretty good to me. We can even do a small door right here if we wanted to. Um, and, but I think that's gonna be good. Like we don't need a whole lot in the closet. We can put a couple of warmer stands, just like we did in the other bedroom. I don't know why I did not put in that. Um, let's see. Banners. We can take a few banners and put them. How about. Hmm. We could probably put banners just like this. Kind of like hanging. A couple of linens hanging. We can put item frames. Where well, we already have some item frames. Let's do a couple of item frames in here or actually let's fill this up with item frames and we can do different types of armor. So let's see chest. We'll do a chain chest, an iron chest, a diamond chest, a gold chest and pants. Or legs, I guess I should say. We'll do gold legs, chain legs, iron legs, and did we get iron yet? Diamond legs. All right, and we might have the need for one more. So let's do pants, pants, pants. <laughs> oh, this works out perfect. And I'll do something miscellaneous up here. Um, a leather cap. And we'll also put a leather cap here. Oh, there's one right there. Uh, we'll put chain shirt right here. Diamond pants right here. And a gold vest right here. That's a pretty good closet, I think. <laughs> I like that. How about if we put one of these banners 
I don't guess I have banners. I can I can pick banners just like that. Can we do a banner like right here? Yeah, this works out pretty good. Actually, I can do a few of them. There we go. So that's that just adds some depth to it. I don't know if I like the banners there, but the armor stands definitely work out pretty good. And I'll just put the iron legs right here. Is that what I had? Yeah, that's good. Okay, perfect. That's good for the closet. Now we're probably gonna need some gray carpet. So let's get that gray carpet. We'll do that. And then on the wall, we could probably do a small dresser in the corner. So let's take spruce. And we'll do just like this. And we'll take doors, some spruce doors. Or maybe we can just do the door coke. I think that'll be good. Yep, yeah, and that'll be kind of like the little closet. We can put a plant feature on top, just like here. Uh, actually, I'll need a flower pot. Oh, uh, we can do a chest too. How about that? Let's do a chest here. A couple of chests. I'll do a trap chest instead of another plant. There we go. That's perfect. Uh, we can probably use another small painting, maybe here. That works out and I think that's probably about it we can dress the bed up a little bit we can go with carpet and white and glowstone and put the glowstone here and the white carpet right here and actually change this out to wool just like that that way on the side it shows. We can also put wool right here. Or we can do snow. But the snow will probably melt without the uh, with the, the light from the beacon. All in all, I think that's pretty good. I think all we're missing, guys, is a plant feature. And I'm going to do another cauldron plant. Because I really like those. And we'll do oak leaves. Cauldron, oak, and we'll call that good. <laughs> so let's take another look around. The closet is done. The bedroom is done. Not that much going in the hallway. Nothing really to decorate in the attic. We have another bathroom to do, but we would probably just do that one the same way. Well, I think I reconsidered because I don't have a bathtub yet or a shower, so I think I'm going to make a little combo unit here. I then cleared out my inventory after trying a few things, and I think I'm going to go with quartz. And we'll do a little cauldron type sink again with our, um, with our mirrored banner and lever. And we just won't do a toilet here, I don't think. So let's see. We can do the tub like this. And it'll be a little garden tub. Then we can do maybe the mirror right here with the faucet and the sink, <laughs> if I could get to it. Okay, so now I think this would look better as a shower too. What if we just put one of these and maybe some glass panes? How about white glass panes? Let's also do light blue. I know Corrales likes light blue a lot. Light blue works pretty well, I'd have to say. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. That looks like a good little shower. Actually, that looks better with without it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it those two right there. That's pretty good. Okay, so I don't know if I need lighting right here. I could do some lighting. Let's do a sea lantern right here. Bam. And we can also do a... I'm not going to do a plant feature right here, and there's no room for the toilet. If I put the toilet, it's going to touch the tub, and that's not going to be quite enough. So I'll tell you what, let's just do a picture. We'll do a painting, and hopefully we'll just get a little one-by painting, and that'll work. Yeah, that works good. Okay, bathroom is done. Do we need a mat in here? We sure do. I think we do need a mat. Let's use light blue carpet. Just like that. That way it'll kind of match the... Uh, 
it'll match the the what you call the shower door yeah that's a good little look okay I like that so we've got the two bedrooms we got the bathroom man what can we do in the attic you know what I think maybe what about if we had like a recreation room like a little playroom you know I built kids rooms before and I think I could probably play around with a couple ideas how about let's get rid of all this stuff again actually I think I wanted to keep the lever uh, lever and let's do let's do like a, a kids train track let's put our just in case we need that again uh, let's put all of this stuff up and I think what we'll do let's try to do a little rail system for a kid so activator rail no powered rail will be good and regular rails we'll do a little minecart with hopper no let's just do a little minecart by itself okay we'll do a minecart uh, what about a comparator that looks kind of like a toy okay comparator and we don't need it to be real big or anything let's just do a little ring in the corner boom 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 actually we can we can just make it like that that'll work okay let's do a little activator rail so let's go one more because that looks a little small and let's do maybe an activator rail here with a lever like that and we'll do a minecart on it and we'll put a comparator here and what else redstone doohickeys we got we got repeaters that kind of look like that as well let's put a repeater down and I think that looks like a good little train cart and we can even make it go yeah that's nice <laughs> all right so let's see what else we can do we can do maybe a pool table um, let's see if we go green we can go with um, I think green wool would probably be the best along with some trapdoors trapdoors are kind of different in this resource pack so I don't know if it's gonna be perfect how about hmm I think maybe I'll come out one more like this instead and I can do trapdoors on all sides kind of like this yeah that makes for a pretty good pool table I think you know pool tables can be made a lot more sophisticated but I don't want to go overboard because uh, we're kind of limited in room so I'd rather add detail you know what I mean okay we'll add that let's do a little lighting feature right here maybe we can go with a um, let's see can we do dark oak fence and we'll drop that down from what here let's do that and we can also put one here and here and well actually just the dark oak fence would probably be good let's add some what could we do could we add redstone right there and possibly hide it I think we could how about a redstone block um, I'll just keep the lever on me just in case as well and we can do the redstone lamps and what if we did that will this light up all three not really huh hmm not quite so I think sea lanterns would probably be our best bet or just regular glowstone would probably work too glowstone there we go and we can actually add a little bit of stairs let's do dark oak stairs and we'll do that on the outside of it to where it looks a little bit more like a fixture you know what I mean so there we go and we'll actually add that right here okay so there it is now we can add a couple of pool sticks let's do some item frames actually you know what wool on carpet makes some really really good stuff here but I don't think I can do that with these this setup right here so maybe hmm if I can put if I can put me if I can make it a little bit wider I think it would be better although it would kind of offset the build let's let's go one more that way I can do some pool sticks on the table um, proper like so we'll do green there we go and now the pool table will be a little bit bigger but I think it'll still fit and this is I'm kind of going for the basement feel even though it's an attic you know what I mean so we'll do that and I think we can possibly get away with one of these we can make this one longer as well and we can make these this one 
one larger as well. So let's extend that out. Boom, perfect. Now we can take some signs and we can put the signs down kind of like this. There we go. Like a couple of pool sticks and then if we take carpet, the green carpet like we have right here and put it on top. Do I? Yeah, there we go. That's like a couple of pool sticks on the table. Know what I mean? Perfect. I think that works out really, really good. Okay, so now that I got the pool table, the little entrance to the attic is here. What else can we do right here? We can do a couple more lighting fixtures. I think this lighting fixture isn't actually too bad, but I think for that, hmm, maybe we can just do like another little table or something like that in a seating area because I don't want to get away from that. Let's just do a little corner table. We can probably get a couple of uh, chairs just right here. How about this? And then we can make a glass table like uh, that we did earlier. We'll do the glass in the middle and a not a green carpet. We'll go with gray again because gray seems to be a good table topper. Gray. Cool. So now we have a little table. It's good. A couple of cauldron plants seem like they would fit the bill here. Let's go ahead and just fill in some empty space. So a cauldron plant, would we will we get it right there? Yeah, I think so. We can do birch leaves. Do the cauldron plant in the corner here. And a cauldron plant maybe... You know what, let's just do one right here. There we go. All right. Looks good. Couple of cauldron plants. Let's do a small couch up here too. So mom or dad can watch the kids as they play on the train tracks or kind of chill out with company as they do in pool. So we'll do the dark oak wood here as well. Actually, let's go back with, let's go with, how does nether brick look in this resource pack? If we go with nether brick as kind of a couch material here, it kind of looks brickish, but at the same time, I kind of like it. Um, brick, there we go. So yeah, that's a little seating area there. We can do another one here, but just like the regular chair instead of the full chair. Okay, so actually we got to come out with that. Let's come out with that by one because right up against the wall just looks funny. Okay, so now we have a little bit of furniture and you know what? A television probably wouldn't look bad right here too. Um, how about let's make, let's put the television this is kind of at an odd space, isn't it, with the train track? I think the train track would probably work better over here. So let's kind of do the same thing here. We have it right there, right here, and right there. Is that just as long as that one was? Yeah, pretty much. Just a little bit different on size, I think. Lever. Yeah, it is a little bit different on size. How about that? That works better. That's the same setup as we had earlier and let's shift it in this way. Okay, we'll take these out. And that way this area can be like a little entertainment area, I think. All right, so now we have that set up. We can probably do a pretty big TV in the corner. Um, how about we take some birch because it'll be, it'll be offset from the color, you know, and we'll do Birch right here and right here and how about bedrock because bedrock makes an excellent little television look actually we'll do it like that so bedrock this will be a big screen TV in the corner and we can even do like a little stereo setup so note blocks and we'll do note blocks and we'll do jute box there we go note box note block and jute box and we can put those what happens if I just put them right on top of one another they kind of look silly don't they um, how about if we put the that there no nope, that won't be good either um, hmm note block and jute box it's kind of yeah you know what that works that works 
Let's go with the painting. I wonder if we can do, last time the paintings were kind of messing up on us. Can we do it like this? Will we get the full one that kind of sticks out at the end? And if so, what will we do? I think we did the barrier blocks last time to fix it. Let's try in the corner actually. Yep, I had to do the barrier block trick, unfortunately. The painting the paintings in here are so weird. It's strange, I don't know. But that kind of gives us a little uh, viewing area for the TV. I could push it over just a little bit more, but I don't want to crowd the pool table. And it's just to give you guys some idea of how to fill empty space, you know. Other than that, I think that's just about it. We can probably just do a little rug here. What does red look like in carpet? A little red carpet probably wouldn't be too bad right here. Man, that is like fiery red. What about brown? <laughs> that that red's a little bit uh that red's a little bit overboard, huh? Okay, let's try the brown. Yeah, I think that works better for a good little rug right there. And that's all about all the empty space that I want to fill except for maybe a large painting in here. What kind of massive paintings do we have in here? We have that, which is a little too abstract. That looks like the television. That's a pretty cool painting, I think. If we did one on the side here, like uh, the two by ones, not the two by twos, come on game, two by ones. Sometimes you have to trick it, unfortunately. Well, we can do a two by two, no, the two by ones looks, the two by twos look silly. Is that even? Uh, that's a little bit off center, but anyhow, <laughs> I think I think this will do it. You guys know what I'm trying to pull off, so that's all that matters, and that looks pretty good. It's not quite centered, but hey, what can you do? <laughs> you know. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this. Let's decorate. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all really enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps me out. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljan signing off, and we'll see you next time. Bye.